After 101 years of Ohm's leadership, we are ready to move into... All oh, the bears coming to visit. We are ready to move into the industrial era. We have a grand total of 12 research remaining. And then we are through to the other side. The last research we've got, though, are... I'm not going to spoil it, but they are a bit weird. Not to mention... There's a few other things I'd still like to do in the medieval era before we move on. I think some proper defenses would be very, very nice. Right now, what we've got is a is a gatehouse leading out to some fields. But if a raid comes in from the south or, well, anywhere, to be honest, we're still caught out. Especially as we go into the industrial era, if we don't have any sort of real defenses against long-range weapons, we're pretty much done for. How many blocks have we got? Uh, 1,800. Or oh, we do have 5,000 pebbles. <laughs> Oh, I know what we could do. We could use the quarry to uh, cut chunks. And then we could use the sandstone chunks to build a basic wall. And what I was thinking is we could go all the way around the edge. I don't really want to build castle walls around the whole thing because it will take years and it'll be very expensive. <laughs> Big Pepper Stasius, that's so good. So I've renamed Arsene now that he's actually old enough to work. You know, just because I didn't want to waste a name on a tiny useless child. Turns out that Big Pepper Stasius has passions in things, which I thought was... Initially not working, so I wonder if something's updated and fixed now. Either way, I had about a thousand comments on yesterday's episode from everybody telling me that the higher the quality books that we write, the better the learning material they are. So I might get Ohm to write another crafting book, for example, or maybe even a doctoring book would be really good. Ooh. Either way, we'll write some more books with Ohm and we'll try and wait until somebody, say, gets an inspiration, either Ohm or anyone else gets an inspiration, and try and get some of those masterwork or higher quality books. That will mean that these children can learn a lot faster without us having to have a dedicated school teacher being wasted every single day. But the current project is kind of a basic cobblestone wall. It is just a single cobblestone chunk. I didn't think it was worth expanding the castle walls out. This is intended as a way to slow enemies down if they spawn at the edge of the map. Say they spawn it up here and someone's working in the cornfields. It gives them a few extra seconds to get away. I think the next big plan, and someone pointed this out in the comments, for it to be considered a proper city, it needs a cathedral. And to say that this colony has a kind of worryingly deep history of mysticism right now with magic obsidian men this this building here this kind of religious building is is actually kind of god awful no pun intended so i think what we'll do is we'll turn this into again another kind of circular building cut this front section off and use this as like a town square have say events happen there or a uh, gallows and then down in this section we could build a pretty sizable cathedral and then in this zone that that kind of opens this area up to building a whole bunch of much larger houses to to represent going into the industrial age and needing more room for more things. And I think it works out kind of well because it means that if we have another kind of rural area here, it means that we've got all this other land down here for, for farming. I think it makes sense that in a desert, the places closest to the farms are the places that are going to have the houses, right? Oh, that's quite annoying. Both of our researchers are also our best builders. So I might start training up Big Pepper. If we're going to train them up to build anything, building walls made out of chunks is the least damaging. So I think that's, uh, I mean, like, the least problem if they do end up wasting resources there. Stumpy. Right, of course. I, I'm not just, I'm not just shouting Stumpy because I've lost my mind. Somebody said, check the grave. Because it's very likely that if Stumpy ended up anywhere, it could be this mass grave. We'll get home to do it, otherwise everyone else will cry. Because apparently a mountain of bodies isn't good to look at. Stumpy? Oh, Jesus. Oh, these are all mechanoids. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's get those. Let's get those reburied. We do have a few other mass graves at the top here. Oh, there's 41 bodies to go through. <laughs> I've got just the man for the job. And by man, I mean four-year-old. <laughs> hey, don't you walk away. You dig up those graves, Big Pepper. God damn selfish four-year-olds. Wade through those bodies. Go find, go find Stumpy. Parker. Damn it. Oh, no, they couldn't have been in here. If only there was a... Some sort of settings list I could have checked before I made a tiny child scarred for life. Where did Stumpy go? <laughs> ah, this is such a mystery. We can't... Okay, a big way to tell that if someone had just dug her up, went on a breakdown, would be she would be on the list here to be reburied. But she's not. It's like the firstborn child of Arcadius just got out of her grave and walked away. Whoa. Maybe we should, we should pass some sort of law. Never mention the name Stumpy again. Well, we've got quite a sizable base. I have a feeling we're probably not going to avoid this one. Oh, no. Of all the things you could hit, 98% grown Devil Strand. No. No. <laughs>
Well, I sure hope they're not going to be hungry anytime soon. Ooh. Oh, for God's sake. I... Oh. Maybe it's a coincidence. Stumpy disappears, and we utter her name. Next thing we know, our devil strand is on fire. Maybe Stumpy was evil all along. My God, she just killed the Alliance of the Ocean. <laughs> Danosh. Poor, sweet Yanosh. There wasn't much of him left, unfortunately. Really does make you wonder how he was even carrying that meal. <laughs> Just walking around with a tray in his mouth. My God, he was missing a leg too? I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Just be grateful that there was absolutely no way there towards the end that we could have made his last years any more comfortable in the least. <laughs> Father was Arcadius. So you know what that means. Rumors of this grave being previously inhabited are false. There never was a stumpy slaghorn. We will never discuss her again. How many more first-gen Arcadians are left at this point is the real question. Might just be Kippos? Because everybody else... I mean, I mean Kippos is uh, Vulcanian. One of the few Vulcanians we've actually got. I mean, look at this. Everyone else, it's... I mean, they're all gone. That's the entire first generation gone, right? With the exception of Kippos. Oh, Wow. We've legitimately gone through an entire generation of Rimworld. I've never had that happen before. It's still hotly debated whether or not siege equipment counts as firearms. So I think maybe today we'll, ha we'll have a vote on whether or not these are acceptable or not. I'm well aware that a catapult isn't actually a firearm. It is just more the fact that this, this was intended to be melee only. And the catapult is not a firearm, I agree. It's definitely not a friggin' melee weapon. Oh... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess the death of both of his parents back to back like that really did. Really did have an impact, eh? Luckily, though, it's psychopath, not sociopath. So he can still, hopefully, have a relationship and continue on the Arcadius dynasty. Otherwise, that would be, that'd be a bit of a problem. What is wrong with you people? One, two, three, four people sleeping in the barracks. We've got one, two, three, four free houses. Ah, oh, finally. We can make bladed weapons. Yeah. What is that? The Blessing of Zur. Investigate the ritual that grants the Blessing of Zur at the cost of a human sacrifice. And of course, how can I not be so foolish to realize that that unlocks Sen? Sword of Rapture. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to spoil whatever this is. But I feel like Ohm could really do with a Sen Sword of Rapture. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, why not? Lana, Prime Counselor of the Coalition of Mera, is making a request. She wants you to take care of two anime mascot Joris at City on the Meadow for eight days. We do get a silent neuroformer. We could take that and give it to somebody else. We could give it to Siala. I make all the Volcanians in the colony psychic. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Malcolm. Oh, Malcolm the anime mascot. Now, because we've taken those, uh anime mascots we've also had a storyteller change could it be the end of an era finally the time to relax and build this over no no it's phoebe chillax again you lovers is it herky jerky no it's <laughs> it's sugar and mr cake oh isn't that sweet until you realize mr cake is 74 and sugar is in her 20s slightly less sweet oh there's nobody the only person he's into is Big Pepper, because they're physically appealing. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> the series is cancelled. The series is cancelled. Mr. Cake! Oh, no. It was that relationship with that 24-year-old. His heart couldn't take it. Oh, he died as he lived. In bed. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> opinion of sugar zero because I'm dead. She's gonna be devastated. She's gonna be absolutely oh god. Oh my god. They're engaged Minus 29 mood. Wow, that's a real shame. Never found love all through his life. One of the prisoners we recruited Had cake fit as a lover very briefly and then sugar Never had a family never settled down and honestly you picked a great time to die because we just expanded the graveyard with new real estate Goodbye, mr. Cake now sugar only has a bitter taste in her mouth. Well, that might be related to why he had the heart attack. <laughs> the Great Church of Ohm is coming along swimmingly. Thank you for asking. I predict at this rate, another hundred years or two might 
Just about finished the bloody thing. Fuck off! Stop dropping things on my devil strand. Herky jerky, poor herky jerky. He's under a lot of pressure here. Not only is the poor guy a massive failure compared to his father, who was a a world leading legend in crafting, but his grandfather was a saint with control of solid gold meteors. This poor guy's got just an incredible amount to live up to. Well, after a night of cramming, he's up to 8.65 crafting. Still doesn't hold a flame to Arcadius or Hanky Pank. Meanwhile, little Big Pepper, who's been out here working constantly, 14.75 construction. Actually insane. He's 10 years of age. Oh. So we just had all of our meals, Rock, which I've just kind of accepted as part of the regular gameplay. Mainly because we haven't got the research to get ice boxes, or at least I assume that's the case, because when you open the temperature tab, nothing. No ice box, no freezing, no sort of cold storage. Then it turns out, ice boxes, the things that keep your friggin' freezers cold, are under storage. Don't know how long we've had those unlocked for, but, um, feel like it's not quite the right place to put those, friend. New lovers, is it a herky jerk? It's a little gravy plasma and Ciala? No. He's 32. She's 139? <laughs> Complimented her food preferences. You all eat the you all eat the same food. Uh she is 102 years older than that man. She's 107 years older than that man. All right, fine. I mean, she's also she's also like 2,500 years old, so kind of relatively, it's okay. Has it been nine days already? Wow! Thank you for joining us, Malcolm and Wilhelmina. Off they go. Who are we gonna give the neuroformer to? We kind of grade silent to level six with Ohm, apparently. What on earth is reviving touch? Is that what I think it is? Send tremendous amounts of psychic energy into a dead human, bringing them back to life? The process will instantly reform body parts and restart the body of the deceased. Beware, causing casting this side cast will release a lot of natural heat, requiring most to release their limiters. The caster will be hit with a psychic breakdown. Oh, shit. You're telling me right now that because we babysit two anime mascots for nine days, Ohm can now raise the friggin' dead. <laughs> he's, be he's become too powerful. This man has become too powerful. Is there any reason to ever do it on anyone who dies of old age? Because if they die of old age, it won't be long before they die, I assume again, of old age. It does mean that characters like Ciala and Kippos, the Vulcanians, with the 2,500 year lifespan, it does make them very, very hard to kill now. But when it says regrows a body part, I assume it doesn't mean something like their head. In that case, we always will have this set to 100%. Give it the 5% buffer for him to, you know, not be meditating coincidentally when someone dies or to run back and forth depending on where they die. Is there any form of medieval psychic armor? I need to go and have a look. Get the armor a minute. Look at all this crazy shit we can make. Virtuous treaty. 75% chance to deflect bullets back to the attacker, but we need to make it out of that uh, gilded plasteel. Send the sword of rapture. Kopesh. Gaia Bullock? That is literally just the spear of Kukulin, the Irish demigod. That would be so cool to give to Arcadius's dynasty. Damn, only 16.67 DPS. You know, we'll queue one of those up, and I want one of these for for Ohm as well, but we need Ear Sword of Darkness. Of course we do. Whatever that is. They have a warmth radiating through them, increasing effect if they have the blessing of Zer. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. I, I actually just wanted to, uh... Just wanted to make some armor. <laughs> Pretty sure anything made of anima grass gives a bonus to Psy recovery. Might just be if you use it to make the anima tribal wear. The regular anima fiber tribal wear he could wear under his bronze armor anyway. Oh no. Randy random. Okay, well, it is slightly less defense, sure, but the psychic bonuses from that is quite nice. Again? Oh no. 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 Well, all right then. Luckily, we haven't quite hit the industrial era. So before we finish the final research that takes us there, and by extent makes us a target for the industrial nations, how much more research have we got to do? This, we've got artisan furniture, book of wisdom, and that's it. We've got two more research after resource plants. Maybe we should put a hard stop on that and make sure we are as defended and as equipped as we possibly can be. The idea of 
industrial colonies attacking us with firearms, grenades, explosives, you name it. And us having a fancy looking gate to defend ourselves isn't really cash money. Little Gravy Plasma told Ciela it would be best to see other people. And you know what? I actually really do agree. For one time he reads and I don't have to tell him to do it. We've got a raid. Brigands from the Slayer's Desert Reproach from multiple angles. Oh my god, that looks like that could be quite a lot. Hello. Uh, 16. Okay, that's manageable. Oh no. 29? Nope, that's a little less manageable. They actually can't get into the base anywhere from this angle. They can. They can get through here. But, I mean, they can go into here and then there's a, a wall there and a wall there, right? This is now sectioned off. They can go through here and that was kind of intentional. So we might be able to fight them on the farms. Assuming they don't decide to smash down any walls. Where are they going? How are you getting in through that angle? I don't understand. There is no way in through that angle. Get in the wall. Run up here. Round here, down here, up, through. Okay. Well, <laughs> Ohm, come hold the line. Everyone else, let's take you up to the top. Because we're missing one friggin' door. Brilliant. Okay. Well, you guys are out of luck because you get to single-handedly face Ohm with his bronze armor and his Arco hammer. Looks as if these ones are coming in down through here. So if we just kind of mass up as much as possible, and then I'll move them down when it's a bit more relevant. We got two coming down this side. Where the hell are they going? Okay, that one's going through the center. Well, they are already all over the place. Ohm, get him. Good, 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 good. How's the hammer looking? I mean, it seems pretty damn strong, given that he just knocked that one guy and did half his health. Meanwhile, at the top, they are coming through here. Let's go search and destroy. That way, they'll mass up, and if one of them falls, they'll push forward. We've got another guy coming down here that I've sent these two to come and deal with. Mage Bomber and a little Gravy Plasma. 6.25, 13.19, and this guy 11.52, but he is way more heavily armored than us. They're wearing just straight up layers and layers of plate. What's I'm doing? He is contending with crossbows, but I think most of those crossbows are actually hitting the, hitting the enemy. Oh, he's got sand in his eyes. <laughs> good luck, good luck. Kipos is coming down. How are we looking up on the wall? We, no one's down beside Sugar so far. Bleeding out 11 hours. Sugar was on the vanguard, so we kind of expect it. We need to come back a little bit because they've got the advantage of the wall on their side now. Let's turn off search and destroy. Bring them back. You go there. You come here. And let's build that kind of... Build that section up where... Uh, let me control them, damn it. Much better, much better, much better. Come on through. They've got ranged weapons. We are going to have to fight them. Big Pepper, do you not have a weapon? Much better. <laughs> Out and around to go and flank them. Something like that. And then these ones will just press forward slightly. We are just going to have to kind of pile up and fight them like this, unfortunately. That might result in some of them getting killed, but we'll see how it goes. No. Infested chunks as well? Fucking void. Ohm's been hit. A couple of bruises, a couple of cracks. I'm surprised they got through that crazy armor that we've made. Holy crap. Where did the ship chunks land? Over towards... Okay, they are outside of the wall besides this one, so we're fine here. What a mess. They're doing a good job, though. They really are. Who's that tiny child that sent an eight-year-old? <laughs> an eight-year-old and a 12-year-old. Nice work, nice work, nice work. Here come the backup. Collateral, get out of there. Let's wait for some reinforcements. Ohm, how are we looking? Ohm's doing okay. Shit, I think they're doing it. I think they're beginning to believe. We've got one more here. As soon as we knock them, these guys can come out and back them up. Oh, this is horrible. Look at how many people we've lost, though. Come on, break through. For God's sake, it's one person. They're in, they're in, they're in, they're in. Okay, move over, move over. Let them past. There we go, there we go, there we go. Perfect. How are we looking up here? There's this one person just disarming the entire group. You must have martial artists then, right? There must have been another one they've already taken out. Okay, we should be fine now then. Shit, here they come. Nice. Well, that area is completely tidied up. Uh, 11, 14 edition attending. Five hours. Shit, eight hours. 21, 17. Everybody's kind of okay. How's Ohm doing? Oh my god, there's just a mountain of corpses. Two conditions need tending. Sad about the corpses, though. Other than that, we're fine. These raids are starting to get pretty damn tanky, aren't they? Either we need to focus on getting our people better weapons and better armor real soon, or we just need more people. I don't think a single one of our enemies survived that, did they? Holy crap. Maybe Void has a higher chance to kill on knockdown. We've got two of them. Are they okay, though? Cooking? Plants? You know, I could really do with you. Maybe not you so much. Careful shooter isn't really relevant right now. Here's the plan. Let's take Kipos. Grab you. Uh, let's take... Stasius is also fine. Grab Alcohol. They are just bruised. They're not bleeding out, so we don't have to worry about tending to the prisoners quite yet. 
then everybody else needs tending pretty damn fast, I think. Tending to Ohm. Ah, uh, no, I'd prefer if you didn't. Cassandra's bleeding out in five. Let's start there. Okay, okay. You should be fine. Oh, they bought double-aged whiskey. What a nice day. Worst case scenario, if somebody dies, we can meditate for a while and revive them, but that will not come out for a couple of days. But I don't think, I don't think it will come to that. I think we'll be fine. Lucky Jerky's okay. DQ needs tending. Big Pepper needs tending. Major Bomber needs tending. Collateral Cleavage. Where are all of our doctors? It's, oh, it's a little gravy as well. A little gravy's also injured. Shit. Oh, an infection. Okay. Let's make the executive decision right now. If anybody dies, we're not going to be able to resurrect them. But I think we will have to go s healing touch on this one. No. No, 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 no. Oh, you're going to have to single-handedly take this out. Everyone else is so injured. Void. I mean, what? It's a gamble, but I'm, I'm going to have Ohm try and solo this. Oh, God, if Ohm dies now. Where are they going? Melee attacking Pebbles Marble Sarcophagus? Steel Street Lantern? They're just here to wreck the place. What the fuck? Let's avoid the Megapedes for now. Run right past them. Deal with these guys that are <laughs> running through the middle of town. On the way through, let's also shut the gate. That should slow them down for long enough. Okay, search and destroy. What a mess. Do not leave that building. Do not leave the building. Where's Arco Joris? Oh, what's he doing? Arco Joris, stay away. Or maybe because he's Arco, he might be super powerful. I don't know. I guess we'll find out in a second, won't we? Oh, he's not going to be able to stand up to that. Oh, 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 just two Arco bros standing side by side, killing insects. I'm not really too bothered about the insects. Like I said, they're not going to get through the armor. It's ranged enemies we need to worry about. Arco Joris actually did it. He took out the Giga Locust. He's not looking so good, though. 16 conditions in the attending. All right, hang on a second. Kipos. Kipos was right. Okay, wandering. No, no, no. Tend to Kipos first. I'm just going to go healing touch, and then I'm just going to leave you there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll come back for you. Oh, my God. They're going through the other side of the walls now. Oh, this is difficult. Iguana 1 died. Oh my god, I thought it was one of our friggin' people then. You know, it does really undermine the giant castle when we've got holes all over the walls. Really does make it a lot less impactful, eh? Okay, is that the last of them? Nope, there's a royal mega spider out there destroying my benches. <laughs> hey, you fuck off. Nobody damages Arcadius Plaza. We're done. Is it finally over? One medieval raid. Infested ship chunks. Many insects. Are you okay? Too heavy a sleeper to be drafted, but I think he's otherwise fine. Yeah, yeah, just sleeping rather than incapacitated. Now, lunchtime. Oh! Hokey jerky pursued Bumfrey Hoggart Plasma by lauding her abilities. Bumfrey Hoggart Plasma became aroused and agreed to become Herky Jerky's lover. That is incredible. She's 38. Bumfrey Hoggart Plasma. Holy crap. The Dimos dynasty lives for another day. Well, I was I was getting a little worried there for a second. Ah. <sighs> Good. Good. 18 infested ship chunks. Um. Maybe we should just do it. Maybe we just get rid of them. Ah, oh, well, okay. Um. I guess my mind's been made up for me. <laughs> oh, God, God. Oh. Oh, God. Wow, it's the, it's the Doom cover art all over again, eh? Oh, Ciala, you fool. Oh, she just drew a lot of the mega spiders away. Just as everybody start to heal up. Please hurry home. For God's sake, they need your help fast. They might they might be okay. They might be they might be fine. Well, I hope they're fine, because if they can't fight just a group of insects, we're we're not gonna survive five seconds in the industrial era. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. See, easy. Just a bunch of bugs. Home is fully healed. <laughs> he healed faster than they could deal damage to him. Wow. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. A little bit of unity. Good work, team. Well done. More new lovers. Sugar and little gravy plasma. Oh, wow. These two have really haven't had a good day of it, have they? Sugar's husband died and a little gravy plasma broke up with Ciala. They are just moving on straight away. That's incredible. 36. And how old was Sugar? Uh, 33. That's a bit more appropriate. That guy still... <laughs> we didn't manage to get that guy into the prison, eh? No! No, I'm not doing it anymore. Void, you can fuck off. I... Oh, my God. A man who's back of generous barbarians. Okay, this is really this is really not okay. You're ruining Ohm's day. My God, Ohm, run. Oh, Herky Jerky, get out of there. <laughs> Club it. Club that bear. Oh, they're actually kind of tanky. Well, I mean, they are also they're also polar bears, I suppose. Oh, is this going to be the end of the Dimos Dynasty? You can't. You can't. 
You can't. If a comical fucking bear ends this dynasty. They got him. Bleeding out in 17 hours. Well, that's probably the best thing that could have happened, them tearing off his foot, because it means he won't sit there and fight till he dies. They are savaging these people. Omer's not having a good time either. Doctor, doctor, Lord Gravy. Lord Gravy, get up here. Let's fix them. Oh, come on. Right, you're going to have to sneak. You, my friend, are going to have to sneak. Okay, that's not going to work. Okay, you, my friend, are going to go back indoors. You're going to go back indoors, and you're going to hide in the freezer like a coward. That's what I thought. Fuck off, Generis. We're just going to have to hope they can survive until Ohm's taken out the pack. We're going to have to hope Ohm survives taking out the pack. Oh, you're jerking in 16 hours. Stasius in four. Sugar in five. If we go out there, they're just going to get savaged. He's got to kill enough that they are distracted fighting him. You know what? You might be able to sneak out there now because they're all in combat with Ohm. Okay, sneak along the wall. Head up here. Go this way. Head round. Look, look, look. We might be fine. You know, go beeline it, beeline it, beeline it. Don't you die on me. Come on, come on. Come on, everyone else on draft. Sod off. He's done it. He's done it. He's done it. He's done it. Right, now we need emergency surgery. We're not quite done with this yet. Uh, stabilize sugar. Sugar in four. Stasis in five. Herky jerk in 15. Ah, oh, shit. Where are you going, you shit? Go, go. Fix him. That one got back up. Okay, okay, okay. Siala, no pressure. It's you versus a big friggin' bear. Kill it. Finish, finish the job this time. Hang on a minute. Bumfrey hog at plasma is... <gasps> You've done it, Herky Jerky. You've saved the dynasty. Arcadius would be proud. Not of your skills, of your... Well, I mean, of some skills, anyway. That means we've got four generations of the same Rimworld family confirmed. Oh, God! That really is a... Major bummer. <laughs> Another one down. They are dropping like flies today. Ah, unrelated to anybody. No lovers, no relatives, no enemies, no friends, nothing. What a shame that we've lost Major Bomber, the neurotic, creepy, breathing cannibal. I don't think we'll be having a funeral for this one. <laughs> Goodbye, Major Bomber. Sugar is pregnant, and Bumfrey Hogger has given birth. But Collateral did die horribly, and we've got a friggin' meteor storm. And there was me thinking Void was being generous there for a second. Collateral, how old, how old were you? 80. That's a new record for old age. I am telling you right now. If the meteor hits anything that we've spent all episode building, I'm reloading. Is that a coward's play? Yes. Yes, it is. Is it complete bullshit? That's fine. That's okay. I can handle it destroying all of our food. The colonists pro probably don't see it like that. Wow, that concrete wall really is taking the hit there, eh? Holy crap. I'm going to have to rebuild the fucking thing, but wow, that was... Pretty damn impressive. Oh, Collateral was the mother of the whole of the Stasius clan. Look at that. Goodbye, Collateral Cleavage. And hello, tiny little great-granddaughter of Arcadius, right? Wow. Great-grandfathers, great-grandfathers are on the list. Still hates Arcadius because apparently he had an annoying voice. Natural born colony child psychopath sickly. Ooh, that's a bit dangerous. Zlata, it's a goddamn psycho. She's convinced that the other colonists are reptilians in disguise. Wow. <laughs> Just like Arcadius. Oh, what a story. The next day, Stasius dies. Right after his wife. Wow. That is, that is tragic. I should bury him like over here. <laughs> Sorry. We don't allow two family members next to each other in the graveyard. I mean, look, credit where credit is due. Stasius single-handedly found in the second biggest dynasty here in the colony. Oh, hey. I completely forgot about this guy. Oh, welcome. Desensitized is pretty nice. The double passion in plants with some decent skill is pretty good. Cooking of 10. We don't really need another cook right now, but I suppose we'll take it. And for the finishing touch, a giant green pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> My God, that took a long time. Almost all of it, though, was because of the bloody terraforming. We are really becoming a city on the meadow. But holy shit, there's a lot of effort in turning a desert into a meadow, eh? And there you go. As the cherry on the cake with the Book of Wisdom... That takes us into a whole new era. It's not going to tell us that. <laughs> a little disappointingly. But we now get access to all of the industrial era technology. Well, a little ping would have been nice. Like, hey, you've joined the industrial era. I suppose the game's got to recalculate that. And new lovers. Alcohol. Oh, the new person. Oh, I need to rename you. And Kippos. That's quite nice. There it is. The industrial era awaits. I think we've done a pretty goddamn good job as far as medieval settlements go, hey? This has been, uh, this has been pretty incredible. I think that's a, it's a pretty nice looking base for once. Tomorrow, maybe Ohm remembers 
how electricity works. But things are going to get very difficult, though. Industrial era factions fighting us. Weapons. Well, not, not just weapons, of course. Firearms, explosives, flak armor. Things are really going to start ramping up now. And I'm, I'm very afraid. We also need to really rebuild a lot of these houses, expand the area out, get some carpets, furniture, recreation. This is a huge jump. Maybe the biggest jump we're ever going to get in the game. So there is a lot to try and handle. Thank you, of course, to the patrons, which I wouldn't have time to produce the content that I produce. We did do a live stream today as well. So that was um, that was something. We tried playing the hardcore SK pack and uh, it straight up just did not work, which it was very disappointing. So I'll see what I can do about that one and maybe we'll come back to it in the future. Thank you in the meantime to Holy Reapers, Jibbering Mound, Dan the Man, Alex, Ken the Eagle, T-Rex, Nanon10, Crimson, Ben B, Daily Barbarian, Zevin Wolf, Pang Power, Felpy, OSM, Owen, and Joseph Stal Stalin, the Cum Stallion. I was about to call him Joseph Stallion, the Cum Stalin, which I'm not sure really if it's better or worse. Thank you as well to Metman, Robbie Boy, Proximity Jones, Flight Gamer, Kumbi, Jackson P, Dunamite, Larry the Emu, Hey I'm Alex, Amanda, Taters, Angus, Rubicon, William, The Apocalypse Shovel, Natna, Aka, and thanks for the loan, Bojo.